Well, today we're back on our 91 Ford truck again, trying to get the power windows working. I took the other side apart already, just to figure out that the regulator's bad. I did get the window motor working, though. <clears throat> this truck's been taken apart several times up right, and they've only put about half the fasteners in it that it should need. Or it's supposed to come out from, with, from the factory. Try to get this door panel off, show you what's going on inside. Get it off the door handle. <coughs> there we go. And then snap our window on motor, um, power switches. Open side. If you hear chickens in the background scratching, you're not only about three feet from them. So. That's why you hear them. This side's got different sizes. Imagine that. It's a lot easier if you take this little brace off. You can probably do it without it. Just do both. Okay. You can find the wire connection that goes to the motor itself here. Unplug it. We'll make sure that it's getting power. I think it is because I think you can hear it. Clicking. You can hear it clicking whenever you hit the button. Roll it up and down. Make sure you turn on the key. Yep, we're getting power. Normally there's four rivets in here. Somebody's already ground those out and put bolts back in, so that tells me somebody's been into this side as well. Let's take them out. Some of them could be a challenge because I can't get this window to operate either direction. But if they fall down there inside the door, it's just a matter of <coughs> reaching down in there to find them. This one is rolled up good and tight. So I don't know. If it could be fun to get it out. Oh, well, it could just pop right out like that. Yeah. 
there's the part that's giving us the trouble right there is the most take these three little screws here out and it will come off of the regulator and then I'll show you what it takes to take it apart maybe get it to working again most of the time they're just corroded up take them apart clean them clean the brushes and they're usually good to go In order to take a pull into the motor apart, there's two little screws here on the bottom. It goes all the way through and it bolts it into the top here. Doesn't look too bad. After I drop it on the ground. And here you've got there's your two screws. We'll take them out and get them out of the way. And this end is your two brushes. And you got your magnets up inside and your armature copper. These brushes are just about shot. I would say that's probably what is wrong with it because these brushes here wear down. Right here, these brushes here wear down. That's what happens to most of your motors. But in this case here, this here is supposed to be bright shiny copper and it's not. It's corroded up. We'll take a piece of sandpaper and knock that off and see what we can do. Okay. See how nice and shiny it is right there now? I just took a piece of sandpaper and just knocked the corrosion and the goo off of it. The better connection you make here, the better the motor will work in the end. I'm hoping that this motor will work because these, due to these brushes here being so worn out. Oh great, we got a spring missing too. I just now noticed that. Let's see if I can't find one of those. I'll get the bottom half of it put back together and show you what I'm talking about. So we got the brushes back in place. The brush is just about worn away. Maybe we can get some more life out of it. Try to slip this over. Like that. Center of bowl holds up. Plug their harness back into the truck harness. And there we go. So now we'll unplug it, hook it back to the regulator, and try to snake it back inside that door. Here's your regulator. If we can't put it back inside here, inside the door, snake it around, and get it away from all the levers and cracks. Basically, trial and error. There's no certain way to get in there and just, just keep maneuvering and wiggling. that you get your window back in the track before you bolt it up because there's no other way to do it. Once you get it bolted up, there's no way to put it in. Bolt it from out from the inside out because if you put them from the outside in, I know it's easier, but they hit the window and the window won't roll in now. I like just 
excuse me, the one started. And we don't have to worry about it falling out of me. <clears throat> it might fall somewhat, but it won't fall all the way. Then we'll have to plug our power in. In order to roll the window up to get the rest of the bumps in. Don't ever have your hand inside the door whenever you're rolling the window down because it can hurt. Well, we're losing light, so all thing we gotta do now is put the door, put the brace back on, and put the door panel back on, put the switch back inside the door panel, and we've got it done. We just saved us some money because these window motors can get quite expensive for these vehicles. So I hope I've helped someone out today and maybe saved somebody some money. And 